state lawmakers could soon approve the Compassionate Care Act, the medical marijuana bill that has been hotly debated for months. A legal local market is still years from taking root, but one national company is already investing. TerraTech, a publicly traded hydroponics firm, shelled out $5 million earlier this year to build a special five-acre greenhouse in New Jersey, positioning itself to tap New York City when pot becomes legal. This facility was actually built with cannabis cultivation in mind. We have things like uh, blackout shades, we have the capacity for the dark periods of cycles. We also have a much higher degree of control over the environment while taking uh, advantage of the natural sunlight which reduces costs. The California-based company thinks it'll have a better chance to score a coveted permit to grow and sell medical marijuana in New York, giving it access to what may be the most concentrated market in the country. The company values the New York City market at $500 million per year. All the experience uh, and all the expertise will just go into strengthening any potential medical cannabis application. We've already started talking to people in New York that can help us with cultivation and, and with real estate and things like that. We feel we'd be in a very strong position. New York's bill recently passed the state assembly by a wide margin. And with several Republican senators voicing support, advocates like TerraTech are increasingly hopeful the bill can clear its last hurdle en route to Governor Andrew Cuomo's desk. TerraTech notes that it can transition from herbs to pot in 48 hours. A lot of our herbs and a lot of our florals are done this way, but cannabis can be done the same way. You take the cutting, the rooted cutting, and you stick it in the soil, like so, and therefore it will grow into a, a rooted plant like this. Then you would transplant this into a larger container to finish out. Legalizing the more lucrative recreational market isn't currently on the table. And until the federal government makes interstate commerce legal, the only greens New Yorkers will taste out of this facility are the ones with vitamins and minerals.